So it's time for horrible English. But somebody asked a question about these. There it is. Siemens Nixdorf B863 uh, model um, vacuum fluorescent display units. Uh, I made a demo and somebody commented on that video and wanted to know how could you make your own cable for this so that you can connect it to your to your PC so that's what I'm trying to do with this video and I'm doing my best um, the first thing that I'm going to do today is I, I will start with uh, with uh, power supply I got this one from the local uh, recycling center and this one is good because it has a um, and it also accepts 100 to 240 volts so this is a universal AC adapter and it outputs 12 volts uh, DC with 1.25 amps that should be enough to drive the screen I, I hope so we'll see how it goes um, so yeah I'll start by attaching this to mains and measuring that it works and if it works then I'm going to carry on with the video if it doesn't then there's no reason for me to try to do this so I'm retarded all right let's fucking try this again all right noise okay let's unplug that yeah, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have these scissors right here and I'm going to cut this wire. Boohoo. I'm going to measure both of these to see which one is plus and which one is minus. Well, that should be enough. I think yeah, this should be more than enough. Oh yeah. Well, if I if I measure this and if I get something that is not minus, then I got it right, and then I just mark the the wire that I use the ground with ground and the wire that I use live with live. So that should be it. And I think they're there. Okay. And what do we get? A minus. So right now I have the wires other way around. So I will mark this wire with minus and this wire with plus. Yes. And D. Twelve volts. All right. Now that's done. Here's a picture of the normal connector going to BA63 display. This is a male connector. And by knowing what pin goes to where, I, I can um, map them. <laughs> I don't know how to even explain. You also need this kind of cable to get the job done now the next next thing I will do is this is the, the part that normally goes to the POS system and I have the RS-232 cable that both ends are female so I'm going to attach this one to the POS cable going to the to the cashier screen and then I'm going to measure from this cable and from this cable and luckily on this model uh, these are all numbered so according to my uh, notes the number five here should be ground and according to online documentation the male connector ground should be number three Continue, 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 continuity, continuity mode. 
fuck that, I'm a cat. Alright. Ah. <sighs> yeah. So number four on the other side should be transfer data. And according to my page, transfer is, is number three in here. So it's this one. Alright, let's measure that. And in here it's number four. Then the last one, which is plus 12 volts, this should be number one on this cable, I mean on the RS232, number one. Can't... I guess it's this one. Is I can't fucking read. Nope, it's this one. This is one, and on the other side it's number six. Okay. That is excellent. I already mapped the colors inside of this um, wire because I've used these same wires before, these same cables before, I mean. Um, so I will be able to do this without having to measure every every pin and every wire here, which is annoying. So that's nice. All right, I have it like this right now. So I use a knife to to cut it like this. Also some shielding in here, but who cares? Who'd care about shielding? Now according to my research, because so it says here that the green wire should be ground. Let's see if there's I I'm going to get the ground wires in a way that I don't need it in here, but I need it on the other end, so I'm going to cut it here. Okay, we got that. So now, if I measure again from this round, is pin number three round. And ground, which I would have more hands. Yep, that's ground. According to my research, the brown one is for plus 12 volts. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. Solder. Solder. I say solder. Minus to minus and plus to plus. No. There we go. More light and all that sweet. I would see. Can we do it now? Oh, 
I'm trying, I'm trying. Right, I got it. It's oh no. Oh yeah. The best way to do this is to use hot air gun. But because I want to get this done today. I'm not going to bother. Almost. Mm. There we go. And soldiers. Soldier here. By that, if I can get it, oh, yeah, I can. Oh my god! The thing is, I already know that this particular model is not in good shape, so green is almost busted. It doesn't lead up properly, but. If we attach the power supply, we should be able to see something with the screw. I can't. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so that's first part done. Alright. There we go. We'll think about this now. <laughs> oh, fuck. Because, oh, she boy. So that was fucking retarded. I, I didn't need to cut that wire at all. Uh, I'm try to fucking touch it. It's okay. It should be enough for testing purposes. Fire's on. Fire's on. Let's try to send some data in. There we go, it's an upside down clock. I made the working cable. And that's about it. Yep, that's it.